so exciting. You're an absolute nightmare. Guess what I bought? I don't know. Yeah, you know. I do know. <laughs> So it's coming two, two bits. <laughs> I had to get help and get it off the lorry. Oh. That's what he actually called me to do that, didn't he? I didn't see him help get it off the lorry. Bloody liar. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's quite heavy. Yes. There you go. Right. So. I bought an arcade machine. Um, fragile. <laughs> so apparently. He's good at reading. This place packages really well. It's one of the reasons I went with them as well. So this is arcade geeks. So here we go. So we'll unbox it for you, show you um, how this was packaged and everything. Very excited about this actually, aren't, as well, aren't you, Abby? Oh. I can't even begin to tell you how excited. Now, I've already purchased a stool. I went to Arcade Geeks, this is where I got it from. Now this cost, um, it, well, I told him that I had a YouTube channel. I've been dealing with a guy called Joe uh, Arcade Geeks. I'll put all their details in the description, so go check those out. And I have absolutely no issues with them so far. Hopefully this is going to be what I'm expecting it to be and I'm really excited. I've had bits custom made or custom designed for this as well um, which he helped me with the graphics of so you know it's brilliant I, just, I cannot fault them kept me in the loop the whole time um, between me uh, choosing the artwork and it coming today has been two weeks and they've built it in that time yeah, so you can't argue with that. I also looked at a few other companies I looked at um, Bitcade and I looked at um, Arcade City, um, and in the end... Well, one of them, you'd actually chosen something yeah, from, Yeah, Bitcade, I chose, I, I'd chosen one, and then all of a sudden, they uh, stopped making them. So, I've gone, I went, you know, started, my look, started looking again, and went for um, Arcade Geeks. Checked out their reviews, everything seemed... Um, as it should be, great reviews. So I went for it, and like I said, so this was just short of a thousand pound. It would have been, it would have been a thousand, but because what did you say? Nothing. But because um, <laughs> I mentioned I had a YouTube channel, he actually gave me a little bit of discount. That so was very nice. That was brilliant. Yeah. So he didn't have to do that. Did you say you only had five subscribers? <laughs> you had to check the video and two of them, did you mother? <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> Actually, before I open this, I did purchase something from one of the other companies I just mentioned, Arcade City. I purchased this oh, yeah, cool. stall. Um, so it's a Star Wars arcade stall. Um, I put the, the price on screen. It was about sixty pounds. So that wasn't that wasn't cheap. I thought you were going to say about twenty four quid. It's very well made though. Yes, it is very well made. Um, so I haven't. Oh. I haven't seen this yet, and I've just got a glimpse of something that I had. Uh, so, because I had some extras put on, you pay for a few of these extras, I paid for some really, like, in-your-face trim. And I went for the yellow trim. And that was after speaking to this Joe about it, and uh, said, like, you know, if you're going to go for something, you know, go for it, you know, as elaborate as, 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 as you can. And I thought, you know what, that suits me down to the ground. So I went for the yellow trim, and I've not it's, seen this it's yet. It's not like you at all. Um, I've not seen it can yet. Can you pull, got... push it over here so we can just see inside? So if I just show you what I can see so far. So this will be the bottom section, and you do have to build this. And you can see the trim that I was talking about. There. So. This is the bottom section of the cabinet. There's the dowels to fix it to the top section. So the yellow looks cool, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, I can see the Death Star on the front. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, let's see if I can lift it. Um, excuse Han in the background. I still haven't put him up yet. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, that 
just come. Oh, there you go, look at that. So, um, there's one thing I've noticed though, but I'm not actually that bothered. What do you think? I actually asked for the standard silver. They'll do a silver one of these. Oh no, I, I like that black. But they've done it in black, which actually... I quite like it. I it goes with all the rest prefer. of it. Oh, there you go. So there's the bottom of the cabinet. What do you think of that so far? Mm, very nice. Yeah, so that was meant to be silver. No, I think it's better black. Do you? Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, no, I'm not going to complain about that. Turn it around so we can see the graphics. Well, the yellow looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. It's better just the one colour. And this is like a rubbery foot piece there. Um, so that's really cool. Oh, I've just seen the graphics on the side. I hadn't even seen them. Yes, I was just saying. I wondered oh. why you weren't looking. <laughs> okay, so I I kept with some of the traditional... No, it's all it's all traditional Star Wars. Oh, that's very cool. So, so there's the sides there with Darth Vader and the Tie Fighters. Oh, that really pops Death out. Star, and it's awesome, isn't it? Very, very good. And yes. the other side. Yeah, I mean, like, these were these were the um, default graphics, but because I changed some of the others on the other section, I had to pay the extra charge for changing the graphics. So I'll turn it around and show you the other side. <sighs> There you go. Mm. And I and I liked all of this, so I kept that. So everything you really want, you know what I mean? Luke, Darth Vader, mm. other side, you've got TIE Fighters, Millennium Falcon, X-Wing, more TIE Fighters down there. Death Star on the front. Mm. So everything you really need, I think, mm. for the traditional, original Star Wars. So here's the top section. And I had some changes to this section to the graphics so this is what i paid extra for i think it was about a hundred and something pounds to, to to have some customized graphics added now i took off a death star because on the top section of the star wars logo now there should be there shouldn't be a death star on that because i just felt there were too many death stars on the front you only need one i mean there's one there as well but you don't need death stars all over the place so i did ask for that to be removed so hopefully that is the case i thought you had palpatine taken off uh, that was the other thing I had taken off, yeah. So I oh. had Palpatine, Emperor Palpatine. Why did you have removed. him taken off? Because when I was a kid, when I went to <laughs> watch these in the cinema, the originals in the late 70s, early 80s, um, Palpatine scared the shit out of me. Um, <laughs> and still does to this day. I wasn't having him, so I've replaced him. I think you'll like what I've replaced him with. Anyway, I, hopefully this is going yes, to I must admit, I think you've replaced it much Better. So I couldn't have Palpatine on. <laughs> Not in your room behind you. No. <laughs> oh, just in the buttons. <laughs> oh, the Death Star's gone as well. Happy days. Oh, that is awesome. Why is there keys? It's got keys. I don't even know why. <laughs> Let me tip, tip this up and you can see what I can see. Oh. Oh, yeah, that does look cool. Can you get a good look in there? Yeah. Yeah, it does look good. So all this yellow, this this was the... Yeah, it does make it stand out. Yeah. And actually it looks really good with the rim as well. So, what I think I'll do is I'll take these dowels off and then I can just pop it on. And he's going idea. on the door, behind, behind the door. So you've had to reconstruct the whole door, haven't you? Yeah, so that's still a work in progress, yeah. Yes, as you can see. I had to take the handle off and... Reconstruct it. Make a new sort of way of closing yeah. the door. Right. Okay, I don't know why it's got keys in there. What, why? I don't know, I sort of don't know. Unless I can lock it and no one else... Oh, will, keys, keys. No one else will get to play it. Maybe that's the reason. <laughs> but, oh, I've just got a glimpse of the artwork that I chose. <laughs> Let's get this out then. Ready? Cool, this is heavy. Oh, yeah, that does look very good. Oh, oh that's cool on the back. Oh, yeah, so you've got the Arcade <laughs> Geeks there, the website, .co.uk, all of this. And then on this side... Oh, it's got... Is that Mandalorian on it? I think it is. Where? 
From the Yoda. No, Boba Fett. This is oh, the... is that Boba Fett? It doesn't look like Boba Fett. Yeah, it's green. This is the, oh, is um, it? the original it trilogy. What? It looks like it's silver to me. I mean, not that you're going to see much of the back because it's going to nah, be against the wall. That's a shame, but... that, because that's a really nice yeah. picture. Anyway, turn it round so you can see that's this cool, side. That Yoda's cool. So you've got Yoda and the logo Star Wars. And it, oh, hang on. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I did see that when it came out and it did look very good. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, let me have a show you. So this is where Palpatine was. Um, mm. So I had Stormtroopers instead. Much better. They look really good. Oh yeah, pretty cool that, isn't it? Yeah, very good. Yeah. Better than Palpatine, isn't it? I think. Oh, no comparison. Yeah, do you like? Yes, very, very good. Yes, I do actually. I'm quite So um yeah, just discussed impressed. it. Just discussed it with him and said that basically I'll have a couple of stormtroopers, you choose how they are standing, and I said I'd like just oh. keep the image with the stars in the background. So this is what he's ended up choosing. Very good. Um, I haven't mentioned actually, I had the upgrade as well, so I paid for the upgrade, which was the 8,000 preloaded games, so it comes standard with 3,000, but I upgraded to 8,000. 3,000 just wasn't um, enough, was it? No, it wasn't, but with oh. the 8,000 upgrades, you also got the volume switch here as well, so I can turn the sound up and down. Um, and everything else. So there you go. So that's that's how it's gonna. That's how it's gonna. It's amazing, isn't it? Very cool. That. Oh, that is cool. And uh, obviously, I went for the. Um, these I chose these colours as well, uh, the yellow and the blue. And um, oh, this lights up as well. So all this lights up. This is an illuminated fascia. So I'll get it working. I'll get it all set up properly. Um, and then show you a little bit more around the machine. You've got your one player, your two player. Um, there are various other upgrades you could have, but I wanted to keep it quite um, sleek at the front there. It does look quite fun. minimalist, and I think that that's a good idea. Because you've got all the graphics nice. on the sides, which is cool. Yeah. And then I wanted to keep the front, yeah, quite quite sleek. Because like I said, there was another Death Star up here, which I thought yeah, was wrong. Because you've got one there, and you've got one there. You've got one round here. I mean, mm -hmm. how many Death Stars do you want? Um, so, and then I kept these. There's another one there, look. But I kept this this face a bit here as well. So you've got a Millennium Falcon, an X-Wing. So it's just a, a bit in the background. I've just seen the speakers under there as well. I don't know if you can see those. Oh, yeah. So you've got your speakers there. Um, but like I said, I'll get this set up properly. I'll show you some of the games. There's 8,000 of them, all the retro stuff. Tekken, um, Pac-Man, all the 80s, 90s, Sega, Nintendo, Sega. thousands of games, 8,000 in fact, and um, and in save states as well. So for any games that had an original save state, such as Sonic the Hedgehog, stuff like this, there's a save state on this machine as well. It's um, Retro Pie. Um, go and check out their website if you want to know more details about the actual computing in this machine. Um, I'm not an expert on that by any means, but um, all I know is there's safe states, high scores are kept, so things like Pac-Man and stuff will keep the high score, but you know, Pac-Man original didn't have a safe state, so you're not going to get a safe state on this, so that was the general idea, and I'm, I'm happy with that, that's brilliant, so I can come back and play games and then come back to it and, and carry on where I, where I left off, but um, not a massive gamer, but when I did play games, it was on this these sort of games and um yeah i can't wait to give that a go i just prefer this sort of thing than playstations i don't i haven't got 12 hours to sit on playstation all night playing people in australia do you know what i mean i want to just get on play for 10 15 minutes have a bash on this and then go and do something else and that <laughs> is what i think you gaming can't say that. Be. what do you mean you can't say that you have to <laughs> oh it's awesome <laughs> Oh, that's... Uh -huh. This this feels really smooth as well. Lovely. What do you think, Abby? Honestly, what do you think? Yes, I do like it, actually. It's very cool. Well, I worked out what the keys were for. This was the back of the, the cabinet, so it was to open up the back um, and get access to all the 
the workings inside. Although they have put um, a letter that I just pulled out of here that just um, explains that you shouldn't make um, maintenance on this, etc. will void warranties like that. That's just standard. Um, but the cable to plug it in was in the back cabinet on the back door. So I'll get that off now and fire it up. Right, so um, the other thing I forgot to mention is Will Miller recently purchased from this. <laughs> Should you really be saying that? So that was another, that was another <laughs> bonus. Um, reason, you know, if, if it's good enough for for Will Miller, it's good enough for me, I thought. Right, so I'm here um, at Arcade Geeks in Birmingham, um, where I got my arcade machine from. I just want to show you some of the stuff they do. Look at this. It's obviously the Street Fighter one. And then um, you got this Predator one. Look at this. Any design you want, you can have these machines. There's 8,000 games on them. All retro, all the old school classics. And this is for my sister's 50th birthday that I've just got her. Um, her name's Sarah, and I always call her the Saz, so this is hers, and she loves all the 80s pop stars. Get involved! Arcade Geeks! <laughs> See you in a bit! Anyway, this is the first time plugging in, so I'm not quite sure. I'll spin it round first. I've got it, put the dowels in, got the top on. I've got a switch here on the back, which I presume. I don't know if that's on. Did you have to screw it in the top to the bottom or something? No, no screwing of it in, no. Oh. It just, dowels just hold it in place. Sorry, what's a dowel? Those little wooden pieces. Oh, I mean, they ain't going to come off, is it? I mean, it's oh, I don't really, know. really heavy. I think I'll switch it on. There you go. Yeah. I'll turn the light off. There you go. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing on the screen, yeah? Yeah, you can turn that down. So why, what's supposed to happen? <laughs> Maybe it's something else on the back. Do you not have any instructions? No. Oh. Is it? Oh. Not another. I'm thinking it might be doing something. Have you got to turn the screen on? Some way to turn that on? Maybe underneath here? Have a look at another look on the back. That's what you learn when you go to like IT tech school. That's all you need to know, isn't it, really? Turn it off and on. Turn it on and off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, it's causing me a little bit of a hassle. Um, so that was a little disappointing actually um, to find that the machine wasn't working properly. Every time I switched it on, I, it would not come on. So I spoke to the company and they sent me this uh, component to replace the one in the machine. Um, this one here, I will call it the small black square thingy. And apparently 
they felt that that may have become loose in transit or something had gone wrong. So they assured me by sending the new one, a slightly different style would fix the problem. And actually, yes, it did. So happy days. So every time I switch it on now, it comes on first time and there's no, there, well, there has been no further issues. I'm just going to show you how this actually, just turn that light off, how this actually works. So you've got, um, you've got Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Master System, Mega Drive, I don't know what that is, Nintendo, so that's the first NES, no idea, PC Engine, Sega 32X, another Sega, Now this is general arcade. Um, and what I was looking for, and I know there is a search way, so. Alright, oh, a bit loud, a bit loud. I haven't played this in over 20 years, so no idea. Alright, it looks exactly the same. Can you see this, Abby? Yeah. That is cool. Do you not agree? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Do you want to have a go? Thank you. Are you sure? Oh, look, he's all like bloodied up and stuff. <laughs> I think I'll leave it there. Hours of fun to be had on here. I'm gonna to have to obviously, um, I might do another video um, at some point and maybe give you an update as to what I think of this machine and some of the games that I've been playing, etc. Um, but for now, I think I'm just gonna leave it there and try and get used to the machine, how it works, uh, the setup and everything else. No idea how to turn it off. Let me know what you thought of that. Go check out Arcade Geeks, highly recommend that. And oh, my seat. So there's me, me seat, like I said, similar, similar design, there we go. Next to my arcade, I've still got to paint all that up yet. Yeah, the arcade light switch, uh, but that is actually awesome, isn't it? Abby? Very, very good. There you go. So I'll leave it there. Very, very pleased with my purchase. I think that looks the absolute nuts in this room, um, and hours of fun as well. What more can you have? A load of retro games um, at home. Love it. Love it. Really, really pleased actually. Nothing else to say. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of that below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. I will do a video at some point, I'm sure, just updating you on um, how well I have experienced this particular machine. That's it. Till next time, TTFN.